My name is Francis Chan, and we're here in Chowchilla at Valley State Prison for Men. My interest in prison ministry started, um, I think, when I started to study the Word a little bit more deeply and understood the types of people that God typically chooses. Um, they're not but they're not the people the world would typically choose to do great things. And so rather than, I, I remember in my early years, I would pursue the rich, pursue the famous people, the, um, <laughs> you know, thinking, wow, if we got them, then they would just draw so many people to themselves. But then as I studied the scriptures, I saw that that's not typically who God chooses. In fact, he would choose the people that no one else would. And I began going to the poor, began going overseas, and that's where my, uh, my uh, desire for prison ministry started thinking, you know, I bet you that's where the leaders are gonna come from. I've heard of Prison Fellowship for years and a big fan of Chuck Colson and um, spoken at different conferences with Chuck. And, and, then, uh, and then I was invited to come out here for Easter and I thought, Gosh, what better way to uh, spend my Easter weekend than going and just sharing the good news with some of these people who may end up being the future leaders of uh, the Christian movement in America. It's so good for me personally because of the crowds I typically speak to. Um, it gets you back to the focus of what is this all about? and. You know, in our world, we're so used to putting one person as more important than another or being more gifted and having more potential. Or, um, and and it's, it's just this reminder of who did Christ go to? It, he, he came and he said, I, I'm going to preach good news to the poor. Um, it, it's, just, it's just come to me. Those of you guys that are just burdened, heavy laden. Um, he went to those who the world typically rejected. And, and so it's just a reminder of, wow, Jesus went to them. And I've met guys in prison who say, man, I met Jesus here and I would rather be locked in this cell for the rest of my life knowing Jesus than being out there. Because out there I didn't know him. I was blind and they've come to life here and to think, wow, that type of resurrection power could happen today. And to say, gosh, I could sacrifice a few hours of my life to get to experience that moving of God, of course it's worth it. These guys just need a little bit of help, just a little bit of someone coming alongside. And I keep thinking, man, if the church would catch this vision and quit getting so scared and start living by faith, man, they just need someone to come along their side and, and give them an opportunity because they've done their time, not only done their time, but a lot of them have done some serious training while they're in prison and I really believe that if we would just give some of these guys an opportunity, they're going to be amazing pastors and leaders.